Hey everyone, I'm Will, and I'm here to help you level up your skills in Apple Keynote. I got a comment the other day asking about gradient layers from my video, How to Make Dynamic Keynotes. In that video, I didn't really do a good job showing how to make it, I just showed how to use it. So today, I'm gonna to explain how to make gradient layers. So what a gradient layer is, is when I use a blended shape to be able to like blend a photo into a slide. So on this slide, I have some text, but I also have a photo that's seamlessly blended in. And how I do that is with a gradient layer. So this is a plain black slide, and I'll move the text out of the way. And then this is the gradient layer I'm talking about, okay? And then here is just a photo, okay? A picture that you can use to blend it in. And so let me copy this and put it on a white slide so you can see exactly what this looks like. So what a gradient layer is, is just a shape, in this case it's a rectangle, and it has a gradient from black to white, and it allows me to seamlessly um, blend a photo into the background. But it, it's also used for other stuff as well, and it helps the text pop off the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. This is how you make one. So come up here to shape, we're gonna select a square. By the way, you can do this with shapes, and you'll see exactly how this works, but We'll come over here, make sure you're under Format, oops, and then Style. Under Fill, you're going to go to Advanced Gradient Fill and select that. And here you see, now you have it. But we want it going the other direction, and so over here, we want the black to be on the left, and then we want the white to be on the left. Okay, so there we go. So now you can see it goes from black on the left eventually to white on the right. Um, you can do this with other colors. Like for example, let's say we didn't want black. We could go with, oops. We could go with like a red color and go from red to white or red to black or some other color. But today we're gonna just stick with black to white because that is what most of the time a gradient layer might be used for. And then you can grab this green to kind of angle it up. So if you grab one of the green ends, you can, you can use it to angle the gradient, like so, okay? I like to keep, I usually like to keep it just right on a straight line, and then grab one of the other corners, and there you go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it back to this slide. So as you can see, you drag it over here, and you might be like, oh, that's a little bit too dark. So all you have to do is scale it back a bit until you've blurred this line. If you see this line of the, the photo, you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna be able to blend it in. And so if we bring our text back over, you'll totally see you have a very well blended slide. So it can go from left to right, it can also go from right to left. I also like to use it, for example, going top down. And so as you can see here, I have a gradient layer and without it, the text just gets washed out on the image. But by having a gradient layer, okay, and you can kind of make it, you know, where you need it to be. But without it, it's washed out, you drag it down, the text pops way more off the screen, but you can still see the image in the back. So if I press play, the text pops off the screen, and the image is still visible in the back, and the gradient layer makes it all happen. And so gradient layers are a hugely important thing that you can use to help your presentations just be that much better. So if you found this helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so together we can level up your presentations in Apple Keynote. Also, feel free to drop a comment about things that you wanna know in Apple Keynote, and maybe I'll make a video about it just like this one. All right guys, until next time, bye-bye.